We're not looking for your nude photos. We're not looking for your porn. Lock your fucking computer when you walk the fuck away. You don't realize how lonely someone is until you look at their phone and they have a dating app folder. IT, I need help, I need assistance. I found weed in computers, alcohol, coke. If you come into the IT room, beware. Don't do our jobs for us. You know, we're here for a reason. Don't call me the IT guy. You know me as the IT girl, I'm gonna know you as like the nasty person that works in like XY department. Don't ask me for personal recommendations for your home. Do Google your problem before coming to IT. I guarantee you 99% of the work I'm gonna do is on Google. Tell me the truth about what happened. I'm gonna know probably from the first second that you got something wet. If I ask you, did you spill water on your device? Just say yes. Anything that we give to you, we can trace. Why are you on some like dark internet web like thing to like watch the Steelers play? Like, <laughs> like what, what, what? I don't know. I've had some like moments where I'm like, wow, this is really happening. Fill out a ticket. I know it's annoying to everyone else, but it's a huge help for IT. If you don't put a ticket, then I don't know what's going on. I don't know the status. And also, a ticket helps us know how many computers you lost this year. So if you lost six computers, we're going to have to have a chat. Everyone thinks that their issue is the most important issue in the entire world. You have to get in line with everyone else. People send in the same ticket about the same shit, and they think that we're going to read it faster. No. Hey, we've received your request. Somebody will be reaching out to you within 24 hours. That's how you know we don't fuck with you. Working IT and retail is like the worst. I used to work at the Apple store at the Genius Bar for about two years and that's probably where I saw some of the craziest shit I've ever seen in my life. I was working one day and there's a guy standing on a staircase swinging a samurai sword and that was actually really frightening. It could really kill you. While I was helping someone fix their phone, halfway through helping them, they told me that they dropped their phone in the toilet. I mean, great, this is a shit phone. You could have told me this when you walked in. There was a computer ready to be repaired and it, it had cockroaches in it. People show me the reason why they cannot pay for a new phone. Like they will log into their bank account and show me how much they get paid, where all the money went to, how much their child daycare was. Anything to convince me to give them the phone for free. Honestly, I really would love to give out phones for free. So working in IT, we see a lot of porn. And 100% of the time, it's not because we want to. People open up private browsing to watch porn, but then you leave the private browsing window open with the porn still there. So what's the point? Just put it in a regular browsing. Someone was troubleshooting someone's computer, and it showed a video of a person pleasuring himself and releasing all over the computer that that person was just working on. Yeah. People have nudes and sensitive photos, that's fine, but then there's the creepy situations where there's someone with the same exact shot of vaginas, like not downloaded from the internet. This is like a personal collection. I'm an innocent like technician here. I didn't ask to see what type of categories and all the type of things you're into. He opened a computer one day and it was all just pictures of women's feet, like taken obviously in public, I'm sure without their consent. So it's things like that that are weird. If you want to get on the good side of your IT person, I would say being nice is number one. I can always tell when someone is being fake nice to me because your first approach is, hey friend, um, I know you don't know my name. Yeah, like when everybody's doing cool shit and all of that crap, like after work, invite the IT dude, shit.